Hey, you've got a runner on third base and she's about to score. What does she need to know about her leads, about tagging up and protecting herself in this position? The, the rocker lead is still going to be the same. You're still at the front of the base, you're still on the outside of the base. The lead now is later. You're more conservative. There's no reason to start your lead at the top of the pitcher's windup in case she gets called out for leaving too early. You're about to score her. Be a little more patient here. Have your runners leave down at the bottom of the pitcher's circle. Same thing, rocker lead coming off and staying to the outside of your field line here. If a batter hits the ball and hits this runner, she's in foul territory, there's no problem. If, however, this runner is in fair territory, we have an out occurring. Same thing here. Leaving at the bottom of the windup, good rocker step, and coming off under control, watching the ball. Now, when we take a lead off a of third base, we take our regular lead, Steen, please do that, on the outside of the base. When that ball is in a fly ball, Steen returns to the bag and watches the ball. And this is instrumental to us. We think we have an advantage if we can time the catch and with our lead. So Steen is going to see that and go forward when she sees the ball. Now this is a little demonstration that you can do with your athletes so that they understand what you're talking about. I'm going to have two athletes standing side by side. The rest of the blue girls are going to move out, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, I mean uh, Jessica and Tori. Now, Tori may very well be a smidgen faster than Jessica. She's going to close her eyes. Tori, you're starting with your eyes closed. You can open your eyes now. I'm going to raise my hand. When my hand comes down to my leg, I'm going to say go. And that's when you start. Ready? Go. Now you can see with that demonstration who had the advantage in the run. The person who could time her start with my hand going down. And that's the principle that I think is important when you're using a lead. If you allow your runners to come back and start in a stationary position looking towards home plate, relying on you, the base coach, they are at a disadvantage because they cannot time their rock and they're starting cold. If you allow them to look at the ball, they can see that ball coming down and able to, to time their release from the bag. Okay, who do we have up? Okay, Christina is starting her regular lead and she's going to take that lead on the outside of the line and then she's going to return for a tag. Now, look at this foot placement right at the edge of the, of the base so that she can use it again like a starting block and her weight is back with her hips back so she can explode to home plate. Very good. Nice job. Back. Tag. Next. Back, 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 back. Tag, tag, tag. Tag, 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 tag. 